Good morning, everyone. I thought I'd have a little chat while I sort myself out a little bit and do my makeup. I look very windswept because it's extremely windy outside and I've been out with the dogs. So far this morning, I have been to the doctors and had my usual blood test that I've been having every week for the past few weeks. I've been on a long walk with the dogs. And other than that, I haven't really done much since then. It's still morning, it's only, oh well, it's almost still morning, it's only 10 to 12. And for the rest of the day, I really need to get my weekly vlog up and get that sorted. It's a pretty chill Monday, so I'm not complaining. I was going to go to yoga class and then I had um, like a bad stomach and I thought it's not a good idea to go to yoga uh, like that. Just in case, you know, like you fought or something during class. And... Uh, <laughs> ended up getting an email anyway so it was cancelled so that was lucky Top of the morning to ladies my name is Jack Guy, and welcome finally to Detroit Become Human I've just scheduled another blog post this is part two in my Ultra of Colitis journey if you haven't read them please do I think they're fairly informative <laughs> if I do say so myself it's just about my own experience with colitis and I've worked really hard on writing them so if you haven't had a look please go ahead I'll leave links down below this also begs the question if if Connor's able to die and then he just got repurposed and now is here and retains most of his memories that takes up like quite a big chunk of time because obviously when like she needs to have it curled and styled and everything um, and she's got bridesmaids and like the mother of the bride and stuff so obviously I can't vlog while I'm there because it's someone's wedding and I'll be working <laughs> I'm really excited actually because I'm on my way to the makeup artist's house and apparently from her like from her house to mine it's like 20 minutes and then from her house to the venue it's like half an hour or 45 minutes and i don't know where the venue is but it just seems really far away so it's going to be like quite a nice day out i think hopefully hopefully it's not too stressful hi everyone i'm still in my pajamas i've been a bit lazy today but i thought i would <laughs> try and vlog i didn't vlog for the rest of the day yesterday because <laughs> i had been awake for so long like i didn't sleep at all the night before um, before going to work the wedding so afterwards I had to try and stay awake from my doctor's appointment and then after that I just crashed and I slept for 12 hours last night which was bliss but I really needed to catch up I think in total I had been awake for 36 hours which is a bit crazy and not healthy <laughs> so today I had a little bit of a lion not much though and I thought I would just play with makeup because I've been a bit bored and I'm doing a bit of blog work now I'm just doing a bit of writing later tonight Eric's coming over we're gonna have tea and then we're gonna go for a lovely long walk because we're trying to be more active and going for walks is probably one of the best things you can do um like mentally and physically it's quite good for your mental health to go for walks as well so oh my gosh why am I still tired hi everyone so I'm out for a walk with Eric like I said I would be earlier on and Did it's you? actually yeah i vlogged earlier obviously well you said that you were gonna go for a walk i think so yeah did you have it all planned you had to go to mcdonald's um go get an ice cream no i didn't Fatty. plan i didn't plan that <laughs> it's still very very <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> Quite nearly finished, go on, then. i thought you were trying to make yourself look fat why would um, i do that i'm already fat no. <laughs> it's still extremely sunny even though it's like half eight at night or something like that. So 20 past eight. 20 past eight. It's the longest day of the year today, which means after today it's gonna get colder, it's gonna get darker. 
It's literally the start of summer and you're already depressed. Like, what no, the hell's wrong? I can't wait for Halloween. Oh, do you know what it was? Uh, Matthew at work, he was saying, What's six months from now? And I was like, What are you talking about? He went, What's six months? And he was Christmas? like, Christmas? Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> Oh my god, it's half the year it's gone already. Yeah. I can't believe that. It's Christmas in six months. I love that Christmas. Like, I mean, it feels. <laughs> like it was two minutes ago or something. I know the year has gone. And now it's like quick. six months away. This is, this is as far as away it can be away from Christmas. It's mint. I love Christmas. I love Halloween. I can't wait for it all. Shall we cross the field? Or should we walk around? Walk around? Whoa, Come it's on. sunny. Work those glutes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sunny, I'm like. Work those glutes. <laughs> Gosh, why do I look blue? I hope it's just in the viewfinder and it doesn't look like this in editing. I look really, really weird. We ended up going for a drive along the coast. We went up from, well, if you're not from Newcastle, you won't know where they are. But there's like um, Seaton Sluice. There's like four beaches. Seaton Sluice, uh, Whitley Bay, Colour Courts, and Tynemouth. And it's quite like a distance. So we went for a drive all the way along the coast. And it was really lovely because the sun was setting. It looked gorgeous along like... The, uh, the skyline where the sea was. I'm regretting being out for so long now because I've got quite a pain in the top of my stomach. I'm a bit concerned about it actually because when, oh wait, did I not talk about this already? No, I didn't because I didn't vlog. Well, on Wednesday I got a letter from the hospital saying that, um, yeah, the letter from the hospital is, it's like one of those ones that they send to your GP but I opted to receive copies of them so that I can see kind of like what's being said because I'm nosy like that. And, Basically, they didn't tell me this at my appointment. She said she would ring me if there's a problem with my blood test. Um, after talking about my symptoms and my sickness and things like that. Uh, she never rang us, so I just assumed everything was fine. But it turns out in my letter, it says that in my bloods, my amylase, which is the enzyme produced by pancreas, um, the amylase was raised. So I googled what having raised amylase meant. And the letter says that the doctor's deciding whether I should stay on this medication, but no one told me that. I'm still taking it because I haven't been told otherwise. I don't want to just stop it. Um, oh, I'm out of focus. So I googled what raised amylase could mean, and it's one of the indicators for pancreatitis, which was one of the things they were worried about from the sickness. And they didn't tell me anything like that. So I googled the symptoms of pancreatitis, and it's nausea vomiting, which I've been having, and abdominal pain underneath the ribs, which is where, where I've been having a weird pain recently. It's almost kind of like the feeling of trapped wind, but I don't think it is trapped wind. <laughs> so I think I might ring them, I'm not sure. I mean, it's not painful enough to kind of stop me from going for a walk, for example. Um, I kind of just feel like I have to hunch over and hold onto my stomach. It's kind of like a weird cramp in the very top of my stomach. Uh, so yeah. It's strange for the hospital to not uh, tell me this stuff. I thought they were supposed to tell you everything. I'm really glad I opted for these letters now as well, otherwise I might not have known and my next appointment isn't until the middle of July or something like that. So I'm gonna ring them and tell them about the pains I'm getting now as well. And that I'm just a little bit concerned and that I would like to know for definite if I should be still taking these medications. <laughs> So yeah, it's a bit weird. I'm a little bit nervous as well, actually, because if I can't take these um, tablets anymore, the next option is worse. <laughs> um, the next option is either these like bi-weekly biological like infusions. I think you have them bi-weekly for a while and then once every month or something like that and then every few months. And they're like a biological drug, they're really strong. It's kind of similar to chemotherapy in a way. And then the other option is called Remicade and it's like um, an injection that you give yourself in your tummy or in your thigh. I don't know how often you have to do it or how much but I know that's a biological drug as well so that's very strong and um, not really the best thing for people to be on. And then after that it's surgery and getting like a stoma. So after this there's only really two medication options before surgery becomes a real um, real kind of life option which is really scary it kind of feels a bit surreal this these medications here were kind of like the best case scenario for me um after trying other stuff before this i hope i'm making sense i have done a blog post on medications and stuff for ul ulcerative colitis if anyone would like to read it and would like maybe learn something new or 
wants to know about them, I'll link it down below. Um, oh, forgot, forgot Jacksepticeye was on in the background. Let's pause that. Hi everyone, I decided to practice my makeup today for Pride next month. I will be going to Pride in Newcastle on Nuns Moir. So if you wanna maybe meet me or like say hello, then if you are there, please do. I will have my makeup like this. I kind of love it. The, oh, you right there, Daisy. The purple hasn't blended as well as the other colours for some reason, so I can work on that a bit more, but uh, I think I quite like it. I think it's quite cute. Looks a bit, a bit mad. And I am just going to Asda with my Nana today. It might look a bit much around Asda, but never mind. Now it's all closed. I know, it's really sad. I have these uh, sofas. No, we are <laughs> I need to get past all these people. Embarrassed that, are you? A little bit. You're a vlogger, you're bitch. Hi everyone, it's Saturday, we've come into town, we've gone for a walk and it's got Primark. I am desperate to find a denim jacket today and we're in the old Elden Square. Let's all close down. It wants to revitalise it. You probably can't even hear you over that. Wait, is that a <laughs> Bag of snakes? I don't even know what that is. Put, put a picture of a bag of snakes. <laughs> a bag of snakes. Right now. <laughs> My man, what's your name? Eric. Eric, no, come and stand to your Eric. Bye. <laughs> While I'm swallowing the uh, coat hanger, I'm going to be tipping back a bit. If you see me start to fall, catch me or I die. Okay? Thank you very much, Eric. I'm going to take a little fist bump so no, you know what to do. Thank you very much. <laughs> do I look pretty, Eric? Oh, beautiful. You can stay. I like you. Eric, are you ready? You guys, are you ready? Three! Three! Two, one. Uh. Woo. Hey. Awesome, right, you've earned the sword. Eric, stay where you are. <laughs> My sword is called Todd. Tomorrow's a signal to you. When you see me wink with your left hand, grab the hand. Like I'm giving you a sword, not a joke. <laughs> if you go too fast, you will damage me internally. <laughs> if you go too slow, <laughs> I will vomit on your shoes. <laughs> Most importantly, Eric, when you grab hold of that handle, none of this, okay? You do this, I die. There are cameras, and you're too pretty to survive prison, okay? <laughs> Three, two, one! Let's tip, let's tip, are we? Get me purse out. How do you feel? I feel easy, I was expecting that I would keep the Primark. I know, I just stopped to record it for a bit and then he was like, your name. I'm so close to her. Enjoying your cinnamon. Cinnamon? Cin what is it? Cinnamon bun. Cinnamon bun. I said cinnamon. <laughs> We've done a bit of shopping. Oh, let's move that because that's in the way. I've got a bag and Eric got himself some t-shirts. Putting it over the minute. I know I can see. That looks really cool though. It's gonna look really awesome when it's done. So you wanna be a master of? <laughs> Why didn't you finish the sentence? Pokemon! There you go. Hi everyone, it's Sunday and it is beautiful weather today. It's like a summer holiday. It's so hot. So we've come out for a very, very long walk with the dogs. We've come somewhere where there's lots of water so they can stay cool. And we're gonna keep an eye on them and make sure they don't overheat because it's very important in this kind of weather to make sure your dogs don't get heat stroke. Eric's playing Pokemon. You're playing Pokemon, don't <laughs> Mine's in my me. pocket. I'm just getting the walking distance for me eggs to hatch. Eric's playing Pokemon. <laughs> we're all playing so Pokemon. Lovely. Pokemon, let's go. Eeyway! <laughs> Eric thinks um, they say Eevee really weird in the new Pokemon Let's Go game trailer. Just cut to it right now. Eevee! Oh uh, let's play Pikachu! And then let's play Eevee! Even with Eevee. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this weather, it's so hot. Look at the big stick from Daisy. Daisy! Come, come here! She's doing some weightlifting, man. She's got the strongest <laughs> neck in the world. Is that heavy? Get it! Charlie, no! Don't roll and stop! No! Go! 
I don't know, I think it was poo. <laughs> Well, that's the end of another weekly vlog. I had a lovely day today having a barbecue with my family and me and Eric just spent a lot of time out in the sun. So I didn't really vlog that much because we've just been pretty much relaxing and enjoying the lovely weather that we've got. It got up to 24 degrees here in Newcastle. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe, I'm getting so close to a thousand. It would mean so much if you would subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week. Bye.